And hello everyone, here's another wee video uh, we're going to do a wee bit more with these digital mass sensors. This is a, a Volkswagen 2 liter TDI uh, engine and it has a digital MAF that produces a frequency output. Uh, it's in Bosch HFM7 that's in this car. Uh, as you may remember the HMF5 was the analog one that was in, the, in my Alfa Romeo. So it's moved on a wee bit and uh, this has a frequency output. Uh, apparently, uh, although I don't know much about this, this particular 7, the 7 and the 8 has a SENT protocol, that's S-E-N-T, which basically means that uh, the, the, the signal output can carry other information, like pressure and temperature and stuff like that. But without going into that uh, sort of detail, all I'm going to do here is simulate uh, a frequency from an external frequency source using this wee boy here. This is, a, is just a wee frequency uh, generator. And it's another wee cheap tool that uh, you can buy for a couple of quid and you can simulate frequencies. Uh, so you can select, uh, it's selected there for 1.75 kilohertz and a 50% duty cycle and that is reflected on the mix sig there to the left. So uh, I'll just zoom you into the serial data on the Autel there. So it's sitting at 0.88 uh, grams per second at the moment and that's with the ignition on, engine off. And the, so that's reading the math at the minute. If we unplug that math it'll go to zero. Uh, but this uh, is going to give the ECU another signal. So I've back probed the signal wire there. You can see it's starting to jump about a bit. And it's still at zero. So if we cut our wee signal generator up in the shot there, we can, hopefully we can still see that. We can screw it up a wee bit. And we can see the serial data coming from the ECU changing. And it's completely non-linear. Uh, this, I've seen some specs for frequency against uh, grams per second. On, and it's uh, totally, uh, the grams per second jumps away up with a very, very slight change in frequency. Also, if we change the duty cycle very, very slightly, that makes a fairly dramatic effect as well there, as you can see. Hopefully that's coming through okay. So that's basically it. Uh, we're just, uh, it's a simulation bypass test. That's, that's all this is uh, demonstrating here. So it's just that you, you, can, you can do this again with cheap tools that you can get. And uh, as long as you, you can understand your identify your different type of MAF sensors, uh, you can uh, do all sorts of things. So, okay, I'll just show you where we get this, uh, where we get this wee simulator from. Okay, there's that wee pulse generator there, and uh, you get it from eBay, a couple of quid, six quid for that particular one. Uh, you can get cheaper ones, they're about three or four pounds, uh, but much do the same thing. That one there goes to up to 150 kilohertz and right up to the 100% duty cycle. I was, uh, I had a PP3 battery just taped to the, to the back of that wee square unit there and that's what I was powering that with. So maybe that gives you a few wee ideas, a wee bit of inspiration and uh, it's worthwhile I think mucking about like the wee things like this here and it gives you a, a real good understanding of the different types of components and uh, what's out there. So many thanks for watching as ever, and all the best, and bye-bye.